Hi guys, my name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the first half of September reading for you all. September 1st through the 15th reading for Leo. How are you all today? Hope everybody's doing great. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. It's not going to resonate with everybody. If it doesn't resonate, you might want to try your other signs. This does take me just a minute, you all. Please be patient with me. Prayers are still going out to everybody going through any and all kinds of nonsense right now. Stay safe, okay, you all? All right, let's see what we got. Five of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. The Lovers, Six of Wands, Six of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. Wow. You're clarifying the Hierophant. Some of you all may be getting married. Just saying. The Tower and the Three of Pentacles. In the near future, improving health. strength. You have great courage and kindness. You may not realize how strong and powerful you are, but there's no problem that you can't solve. The compassion you so freely give to others must also be given to yourself. Stand strong in your convictions of the right answer to tell it. Okay. Stand strong in your convictions if the right answer to tell someone is no. Sorry about that. So... Ten of Emotion. Life is blessing you with a wonderful and loving family. Great happiness and emotional fulfillment are now on the horizon. Harmony with those you love is assured. By offering forgiveness, understanding, and kindness to others, you're rewarded with unconditional love. <laughs> I do think some of you all may be getting married. You may be getting engaged, you may be getting married, you may be getting into this new relationship. It's kind of cool. Give me just a minute, okay? All right, you all. So when I get the lovers, I get the four of wands, which could be a marriage or a wedding or engagements. I get the ten of emotions over here. I get the hierophant. Some of you all seriously may be getting married at this time or getting engaged. I also have the Six of Pentacles, which is give and take. So I almost feel like that you guys are giving and taking and receiving um, lo love for each other. Your love and compassion and, and uh, thoughts and concerns and all kinds of great things. So I'm feeling like that if you guys 
are getting into a relationship, I think you guys may be getting stronger or you may be talking about or considering or looking into engagements in the future. If you guys are um, starting to date someone, I feel like this could be a really good person for you and I think they're going to make you extremely happy and I think you're going to make them extremely happy. Especially to you all, I get this Six of Wands. And you guys, this is a, a victory card. This is a success card. This is a um, an achievement that you guys are uh, aiming for. So I get excited when I get it. So it's one of those things that you guys are going to um, have some sort of accomplishment. So whether it's it, it's because of this relationship, now some of you all may have been in a relationship for quite some time, and the main thing in your mind is getting a home together maybe, or getting into a new home, getting into a new environment possibly. Some of you all may be considering um, going back to church with this Hierophant, or this is a spiritual thing to where you guys are um, maybe praying more, reading the Bible, things like that to where you're spiritually um, opening up to different ideas or different things that maybe you haven't considered in the past. But I am feeling like that your health is going to start improving and it's coming very soon. It could possibly be because of this new relationship or the love that you all have for each other. Some of you all may have been in a relationship for quite some time, but sometimes when you're in a long relationship, you may have falling apart a little bit. I feel like now's the time for you guys to rebond and come back together and fall back in love with each other. And that in itself is a great feeling, you guys. It really is. Now, I do have this Tower card. I do have this Five of Pentacles. So for some reason, I'm feeling like there's something coming in that's going to change. Um shake you up a little bit, okay? And I don't say that in a bad way because to me, um, when the tower card comes in, it's, it's, it's meant to be. So, <coughs> excuse me. So I'm feeling like that because of this five of pentacles, which could be regarding um, isolation, it could be you guys feeling like you, you're not making enough pay money to pay your bills, so this could be financial issues. This could be you all needing help, maybe even from your church, possibly. Um, maybe you guys are wanting to volunteer at your church or something like that, too. But there's something with this tower card that makes me feel like that once this comes down, once this tower comes down and this tower card comes in, I almost feel like it's going to free up and give you extra space, extra attention, extra... Um, happiness almost is how I'm feeling about it you know like I said earlier I feel like that when the tower card comes in it's almost like a blessing in disguise sometimes people don't see it that way but later on you'll look back and say thank goodness that happened so it may be something going on maybe with your job or maybe with some sort of um, it may be an epiphany it may be some sort of a clarity it may be some sort of um, something that changes your job to where you have to go out and get another job but when you do you're going to realize that it's an absolute better um, a better feeling a better I'm trying to, I can't figure out what I'm trying to say here here's how I feel about it I feel like that if you do have to go out and get another job you're going to be thrilled with the job you're absolutely going to love it. You're going to love what you do for a living. It's going to be something new or something that you are um, wanting to learn more and more and more about. So I get excited because of that. Because sometimes something happens and, and like for instance if it is your job then you have to go get another one but when you do you're going to love this job so much more than you than you did your last job. And honestly, you might be just as, as good off financially or maybe even better. So you know the old saying a long time ago, um, if, you, if you, some people say if you love your job, you don't actually work a day of your life. That's how I'm feeling with you all. So you guys may be finding yourself doing something 
that you absolutely love and it doesn't feel like work at all. It feels like something that you love to do. So I'm thrilled to say that. Now on top of that, with this Six of Wands, not only is this a victory and a success card, it can be promotions. It can mean that you guys are thinking about opening your own business or being the leader of um, a, a group of people, a, a manager, a supervisor, you know, a foreman, that kind of thing. Maybe even the boss or the owner of a company. So I'm feeling and seeing that there's something coming in for you all that you're going to be absolutely thrilled about. And overall, in general, um, it's something that has to do with a relationship or your family, but it's also something, in my mind anyway, that might feel like at the at the beginning, like, oh no, well now what? But in a second, it's gonna the the stress is gonna be off your shoulders, and you're gonna say, okay, thank goodness, let's move on, and you're gonna be tickled with how it works out for you. Give me just a minute, okay? I'm going to rearrange. You know, I didn't even get into this Ace of Wands, you all. You know, I love this particular Ace. I mean, I love all the Aces. But this, first of all, is your sign. Secondly, it's passion. It's creativity. It's energy. It's something that you're thrilled to start out and to do. So it could be this new job or this new business opportunity. It could be this new relationship or bonding with an old relationship. It could be uh, your family. It could be a new location. It can go in so many different directions. And the funny thing is, too, is this improving health. You know, sometimes when we're so stressed out, whether it be regarding our job, our home life, situations that we can't really control, whatever it is, our health might start declining. And when it does, it's almost like, um, you know, okay, let's just face it. A lot of people have been a little stressed out lately, okay, over the last year or so. And honestly, it starts getting to you. It starts getting on your nerves. It starts making you mad. It starts stressing you out. It starts giving you uh, panic attacks, you know, these type of things. I'm feeling like that that's not going to be an issue much anymore, especially if you guys have been going through it. Now, whether you've been actually ill or whether you just feel like you have no control and things are just coming, you know, aggravating you to death, either way it goes, your health is going to start improving. And that in itself is saying a lot, especially if you've been not feeling like yourself lately. So here's the thing. This Five of Pentacles makes me feel like... Sometimes you feel isolated. Sometimes you feel like financially maybe you're in a little bit of a pickle. Maybe maybe you need help or maybe you're wanting to give help to other people. It could have something to do with the church. Um, so maybe some of you guys are going to the church to get advice or to get help. But maybe some of you guys are giving to your church at this time. I have this giving and receiving card here. So that could go hand in hand with the church situation or it could go hand in hand with this relationship. Whether this is a new or an old relationship, you guys are bonding and loving and caring and getting closer as we speak. So I'm, I'm happy for you guys and if you haven't gotten into that relationship yet, you might be meeting them very soon, okay? So I'm, I'm tickled for you, and if that's the case, some of you all may be considering getting married if you've been together for a while. Some of you guys may be thinking engagements and things like that. With this Four of Wands, it's like a, a, a foundation for the next steps in your life. So this can go in a marriage or a wedding or babies, but it can also go in a new home, a new career, a new job, that kind of thing as well. So either way it goes, this is a great foundation for you guys to continue to build upon. And that in itself gets me excited. 
I have this Ace of Wands. And honest to goodness, this is a new beginning and a new chapter coming in. And it's something that you're passionate about, something that you're fired up about, and you're excited about. Sometimes it's creativity. Sometimes it's that new job or that new business. And you guys are, are really getting... Um, I almost want to dance a jig a little bit, honestly. That's how I'm picturing right now. And then I have this higher fence. So whether it's something regarding church, maybe it's contracts, maybe it's wedding contracts, but maybe it's you guys wanting to go back to church or read the Bible more or even become more spiritual in prayer and things like that. Um, either way it goes, I'm, I'm thinking that you guys are going to become a lot more spiritual than you maybe you have been in the past or that you have been in quite some time. I see this Three of Pentacles and this Tower. Both of these, this could be something that you're changing your job or changing your career or changing something that you do. And when you do that, you're going to be thrilled with it. I feel like that this Three of Pentacles is possibly a, a job that you're going to be able to make money, but you're going to love this job so much more than you have loved um, any job probably that maybe that you've ever had or especially the job that you just left. Okay, so I'm feeling like this is going to be great for you and you're going to be thrilled about it. Um, this Six of Wands, you all, could be you all opening your own business, being your own boss. It could also be you becoming a um, manager or a supervisor or something to that foreman, like I said, to where you're a leader of, of a group of people. You'll be great at this. This is a success for you guys. This is a victory for you all. And it could possibly be promotions. So I am tickled to tell you that whatever's going on right now, I think your relationship is going to get stronger or you're going to meet someone that you're going to be crazy about. And I think that possibly your um, some kind of a new beginning or your life in general is going to be a lot better. So no matter what's going on, no matter what this tower is all about, it's going to turn out a lot better than you expect, honestly. Inner strength. You have great courage and kindness. You may not realize how strong and powerful you are, but there's no problem that you can't solve. The compassion you feel you so freely give to others may also be given to yourself. Stand strong in your convictions if the right answer to tell someone is no. And that might be regarding your old jobs. That might be regarding um, something that where this tower is coming in. Because if you do say no to something, maybe that's when the tower comes down and then you'll have more ability to do something totally different. Ten of emotion. Life is blessing you with a wonderful and loving family. Great happiness and emotional fulfillment are now on the horizon. Harmony with those you love is assured. By offering forgiveness, understanding, and kindness to others, you're rewarded with unconditional love. That goes hand in hand with this lovers and all of these other beautiful cards, you all. This is a great reading, Leo. I'm feeling like you guys may... Um, be in the process of changing something and I think that when you do that you're going to be thrilled with the outcome. I feel like that for a lot of you guys this is a, a relationship, a new relationship or an old relationship and it's a bonding moment and a bonding experience and this is going to be very important to you and your loved one um, that you guys have this moment together. This is a great reading. I hope you guys have enjoyed it today. This is your first half of September reading, September 1st through the 15th reading for Leo. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I hope you guys come back and see me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon.